Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. And in this video, we are going to talk about editing photos. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I am posting my Varnashi series on my Instagram feed. And you guys really supported me a lot for this images. And I really appreciate your love and support. In this video, we are going to edit this image, and I'm going to show you how I edit these images, how I make this color tone. And also, I'm thinking about giving away a preset pack. So please let me know if you guys are interested in that. So I will make a preset pack with four or six presets. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys want the preset pack. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's jump right into the Lightroom. Now let's start editing this image. First of all, let's crop this image. Now, I want this image to be more compact this is a bit negative space and we want to cut that out so let's give it a 4 by 5 aspect ratio because you know Instagram things okay so 4 by 5 is kind of looking good on this image or we can make a bit yeah yeah I think it's looking perfect according to the frame right now now we need this image to be more bluish uh, yeah around here will be good tint we don't want any kind of tint right now because we are going to make that later exposure now let's bump up the exposure a little bit because we need the details in the shadows now let's push the contrast a little bit we can we can also push that a bit farther like yeah around here it looks good highlight now we don't need this highlights and this highlights so we are gonna decrease the highlight yeah around 60 61 yeah kind of good now shadows now let's pull the shadows yep now white there are too much white going on here so we need to decrease white yeah not yeah we can't just remove all the whites but we need to decrease the white yeah around 38 around 38 40 is looking good according to me and now let's remove some black because you can see this things going on the smokes on the black sky it's not looking good so we are gonna decrease the black and it will make the sky more contrasty so let's pull it down now let's decrease it now let's decrease it around yeah around 43 45 is looking good and now don't worry about the artifacts going on here because we are gonna fix that later now yeah we need texture on this image because that is the look we are going for that shallow depth that contrast image the moody look that's the result we want with this image so we are going to increase the clarity a little bit no it's going to be high at least yeah at least 71 73 75 yeah it's looking good around here okay let's make it 75 okay increase the vibrance a little bit down 30 35 yeah it's looking kind of good so now let's go to the tone card now as you can see this things going on so we need to add some fade in the shadows and that will remove all this artifacts going on so not too much just a little bit because we want 
a contrasty look on that image so we need to manipulate it like that now i'm going to give a little bit of contrast with this curve and a little bit fade on the shadows and we are not going to mess with the curve anymore and as you can see the contrast is looking pretty good okay let's tweak the colors now we are in the hsl hue saturation luminance so let's tweak the hue so right now we are not going to mess with the orange yellow we need to decrease it and we need to decrease it a whole lot yep and we need to increase the aqua a little bit around here yep and the blue as well not that much just like five six seven yeah seven looks good now let's go to the saturation and let's decrease all the colors because we are going for a moody dark vibe so that's what we are going for now first of all red we are going to make it yeah it's looking pretty good around here yeah it's looking pretty good around here now orange we need to decrease it quite a bit like around 55 58 yeah it's looking pretty good for right now at least now for the yellow we also need to decrease it and we need to decrease it quite a bit actually around here now let's decrease the green as well and we are going to decrease it all the way now we need to remove the blue because these parts are looking more bluish than we want so we are going to decrease the blue quite a bit actually around 37 yeah now luminance let's see what i can do let's increase the red yeah it's looking pretty good around here let's now increase the orange as well the yellow obviously we don't need the green and aqua all the way and we need blue as well but not that much yeah around here it's looking good now you may think this image is looking kind of desaturated already and obviously we are going to put complementary colors with split toning so that the image will look more eye soothing and contrasty as well in terms of color now first of all let's push the saturation a bit because we need to see the color first then we will tweak the saturation again so we need something very warm type so around here will look good i guess now we don't need that much of saturation so we need to decrease it yeah around 25 28 29 around 25 24 is looking good now now we need to put some colors in the shadow part as well and we are going to do the same thing with this again so we are going to increase the saturation of the color so we can completely see the color first and then we are going to decrease or increase the saturation as per our need so we need something cool on these shadows so something like aqua or bluish will look fantastic on this image i guess yeah i think this type of color will look good now the saturation is already pretty high so let's increase it all the way and now let's increase it and see where it looks good 
I think it's looking kind of good. Now we are going to give some final touch on the colors with the camera calibration. Now, yeah, that's and I have to say color calibration. If you can use the color calibration, this section can change the whole look of the image. So give it some attention. It can change the look of the whole image tint. Not that much. Yeah, around 15 will look good. Now red primary. Now, as you can see, we need more warm colors in this section. So we are going to push the red primary hue and we are going to push it quite a bit actually. Yeah, I think, no, I think we are going far away. We need to back a little bit. Yeah, 57, 55. Yeah, around 59, 56, 7 looks kind of good. Now we need to, and we need to increase the saturation as well. Not too much. Around 15, 16 will do the job. Yeah. Okay, now let's tweak the green primary. So we are going to increase the hue a little bit around. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's looking good around here and we need to decrease the saturation halfway I think somewhat like yeah now the blue primary now as you can see this image has already so much blue going on and the blue primary is just going to create a magic in this image so we need to decrease the color we need to push the blue primary in the aqua direction so it will also look good with the orange in this image so let's decrease it and i think you guys can already see the magic going on here with just one slider now the color is on point the color is how we want but the saturation is way more so we need to decrease the saturation a little bit around 34 yeah now also uh, this image shot with 1200 iso and in the full night time so we need to so we should do some noise reduction as well so as you can see yeah so we need to do some noise reduction but we need the structure on the smoke so we can't destroy that as well so we can't do noise reduction all the way so that all the details on our image will be lost so we can increase the noise reduction around here and it completely depends on your image it has nothing to do with the color tone yeah it makes the image a little bit soft and for that we can also increase the sharpening a bit around 55 yeah now i think we have done a good job in the split toning but the balance is not right so we need to fix the balance as well so let's try to fix the balance let's see who let's see what happens if we decrease the balance it's blue overall without any kind of warm now if we increase it and if we increase it we can see we are going back to the warm tones again so increase it all the way okay so i think we have achieved the final goal that is the look we are going for this image now yeah because of the night time and the moody look we can use some extra effects just post cropping yeah okay so we are done with the edit and now let's see the before and after and and the before and after is here and as you guys can see we have achieved the color tone we want for our image and here you can see the before and after is looking pretty good. 
so that's it for today's video see you guys in the next one and if you guys are interested about the preset pack please let me know in the comment section below and if you guys have any question or suggestion you guys can also let me know in the comment section as well i hope this video will be helpful for you and if you like the video please don't forget to hit the like button and if you didn't like the video hit the dislike button twice and if this one is the first video you are watching on my channel then welcome to the community subscribe for more videos like that and follow me on instagram for more travel contents see you guys in the next one till then stay home stay safe